Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 1. We are about to get rev revenge for dog meat. Because they did kill our dog. Which is unforgivable. So we're going to take this rocket launcher. And this turbo plasma rifle. And walk into their base. We do have three paladins with us. Which should make things a little bit easier. So, here we go. The entrance. He entered the code from the tape and unlocked the door. Wonderful. The mutants not being very smart, just let... Where are the paladins? Does he not come in with us? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Alright, so there's a ton of mutants over here. There's some robots. And a couple of mutants over here. Okay, let's take care of those first. He does have a rocket launcher, so I will go up there. Quickly activate combat. Uh, was he first? No, I was not. No, he was not. I will quickly activate combat mode. And here we go. A couple of shots, and he's dead. He had a rocket launcher, so he could be very dangerous to us. And I cannot hit those guys. Did you see me even? No, they did. Fortunately, the guy with the huge lo rocket launcher was not able to fire. So let's just... yeah, this is doing good damage. And the other guy didn't really notice us yet. Okay then. Ton of ammunition for the rocket launcher. Oh, we don't have weight. Oh, you know what? I'll actually forfeit the minigun for now. I'll give it to Tycho. And you can have one those and that some of these yeah we'll probably be getting a ton more ammunition also give the whole discs to him so they don't take up space one of that and this and that and that yeah we won't be using the minigun after all because it's apparently it's not that good but we will be using the rocket launcher. So, give me the ammunition to the aforementioned rocket launcher. The ammunition being very, very heavy. Some more. Well, the problem with the rocket launcher is that it takes a lot of action points to fire. But, it also causes area of effect damage. Alright, do they even have anything? Minigun? And the minigun. Alright, fine. Can we do anything with those computers? We cannot. There is a force field over here. There is a force field almost everywhere. Okay, we need to go down through the elevator, but I would like to kill those mutants over here. Right, let's go that way. Probably leave those guys behind as much as I can. So they don't get killed. You know what I might do? I might just make them come over here. And then quickly run and initiate combat so they couldn't fall. Yeah, that might actually work. Uh, inventory. Um, yeah, we do have a rocket launcher equipped. And apparently we can pass through those fields, but they deal some damage to us. Whoops, they were, they were the first to act, but uh, it didn't really matter much. Right, let's try using the rocket launcher. Oh, that went rather well. Killed one, heavily damaged another. Right, let's reload it. And fire on that guy. Oh, can't fire on that guy. Hmm. I can move one step. Fire on that guy, and then move back. No, I can't move back. Oh, crap. But we did eliminate three of them already. Which was pretty good. And Ian got hit for 12 hit points. He's using a knife, of course he is. Oh, Ian, you idiot. Hmm. Should I use the plasma rifle? I think I should use the plasma rifle now, because they're all damaged. So, yeah. 
40 hit points. He's not damaged. He's not damaged either. But he is. We should be able to kill them all. I mean, those near to us. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. What weapon are you using? A minigun. And you are using a flamethrower. Okay, so he cannot reach us. Let's just fire on the guy with the minigun. And... Oh, we have one more shot. Wonderful. That went rather well. Uh, and Ian, that bloody idiot, is using a knife. Let's wait till Tycho gets here. Tycho, would you please get here? Yeah. So, you need to use some Stimpaks on you guys. We'll actually enter combat for that. And he has 50 hit points. Okay, that's fine. Taiko has 52. Yeah, this is a very dangerous area. We do need to do our best so that they survive. And that actually means that we're going to start combat and fire on those guys. Should be able to kill them. And we did. Wonderful. That super mutant guard. I could use some more missiles. There are two guys with missile launchers, weren't they? Right, there's one. Oh, we can't carry all that, really. How many can I carry? Give me four. Worked. Give me one more. And one more. Not that many. Okay, as we cannot carry anything else, I will reload this web. Oh, guns and bullets. Great. Well, not that great, really, but we cannot pick it up because we're at our maximum weight capacity. You know what? We'll probably be leaving through here anyway. What could I drop? Oh, maybe nothing, but I could give something to Tycho. Hey, Tycho. Come on, carry some rockets for me. Why are the bloody rockets? Yeah, carry some of those. Might need more later. Okay, the first group of mutants has been sorted. Now, give me guns and bullets. And give me some more missiles. Where did I leave them? In this pile of bones, maybe. Yeah. And do you have anything? Just the minigun, which I am not interested in. Not at this point. We have all the money we may need. And you can always return here and loot if you need to. Okay then. And there are a couple of robots. Something that looks like a functional terminal. Let's try accessing the terminal. Uh, you press some buttons, but the computer seems to be damaged. It will take some work to operate it. Uh, we do have a good repair skill. The computer is, is not physically damaged, but instead seems to have corrupted the data. So, science. Uh, reprogramming con mm, complete. Initializing voice communication subsystems. Initializing personality subsystems. Click. How may this terminal be of service? Uh, what are you? This terminal is an artificial intelligence. This terminal... Mm, is part of a VLAN matrix network to optimize remote unit operations. Okay. What are the remote units under your control? The terminal is responsible for the operation of all General Atomics International Industrial Robots in this facility. Please be more specific. The style of industrial robots are commonly referred to as RoboBrain. General Atomics International has the finest industrial robots in the world. Buy two or more. Gow robots and save uh, and save special deal on Mr. Handy models. Click. Advertisement applet terminated. What programs are you running? Current applications are facility maintenance, movement speed, repair, pest control, hearts and sensors. What's hearts? What's hearts? Terminate hearts. 
Attempting to terminate. System error. Failure to terminate application. D delete writes not available. Hmm. Modify pest control seems nice. Current application. Pest control version 1.4. Current setting. Click. Unauthorized. Change to all, none, small living, large living, or unauthorized. Let's set it to all. The robots will be hostile to us anyway, and this way... Unauthorized, maybe. No, click all. Yes. Um, adjust parameters and movement. Current setting, maximum half movement. Maximum movement. Sensor parameters. Full sensors or minimal sensors? F full sensors. Kill the, you know. What about the hearts? Play hearts. Oh, application hearts running. This terminal wins. Thank you for the game. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we have activated the robots uh, pest control system, which means that if there are robots on lower levels, they might actually interfere with the mutants. I hope there are not m m many more robots. Will you be hostile to me? Oh, they're not hostile. Okay. Mm, can I actually disable this somehow? Horribly damaged emitter field. Can I use science to disable it? Can I use repair to disable it? I cannot. Okay. Let's move across then. Take some damage. Oh, that our guys didn't come through. And go down. Level 2 it is. Right, so let's explore. There are some robots. A lot of mutants. And some uh, lockers. Should probably go after the lockers first. Oh, and I. Mm, yeah, there are some boxes here. I haven't searched the ones that were upstairs. Maybe I should start in this area. Okay, just move. Tycho, please move away. Would you please move away? You're so annoying sometimes. Let's get some more wiggle room with the door open. Hmm. Let's talk. Uh, draw your best weapon. Yes, change formation. Stay close. Will he move down? He did move. Oh yes, Ian, you should also be using the best weapon you have, not a knife. Right, you guys follow me. And we'll heal up once we're in the clear. Ian? Yeah, that's better. Tygo has 53 out of 60, so have one stim pack. And Ian is walking into a room unauthorized. Right, one stim pack for you too. We have 91, so we can spare. And it didn't work. Okay, let's do it one, once again. And they should be fine. Can I actually search those boxes? Nothing here. Right, they seem to all be empty. Oh. That mutant actually has a name. I wonder. Can I talk to him? What weapon are you using? A minigun. What weapons are you using? Uh, 60 hit points, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, they haven't um, pulled their weapons yet. Abel, when you talk to me, you are not supposed to be here. Why do you say that? You are human, me mutant, mutant kill human. How can you do that? What about the force field? Oh, there was a force field. Abel, take care of that. Then Abel, kick your ass. So, is that a way to pass the force field here? Or disable it. Hmm. Seems to be a little bug. Oh, and he killed Tycho. Oh bloody hell! Well, and all we needed to do was to initiate combat first. Okay, he's dead. There's nothing we can do now, apart from reloading the game, which I do not want to do. Unless we die. Well. It's a 
Just said and for Desert Ranger. At least we can kill some mutants. Oh, a rocket launcher. And a minigun. And a rocket launcher. And a rocket launcher. You know, I should probably use a rocket launcher as well. And yeah, I should. Single fire on you. That was beautiful. Two with one hit. Hmm. I can seem to I don't seem to be able to hit any of you. From back here. What about from here? Oh, of course it's not loaded. <laughs> Yeah, let's use the plasma rifle. What weapon are you using? Is that a minigun? Yes, it is. Should probably take care of that guy first. But he could kill Ian, so... Yeah, let's do that. And the rocket launcher guy. We did take some damage, but this armor is super durable. Ian, please stay back. I wish there was a do not engage setting. Can we end combat now? No. I suppose we could kill that guy. That's two hits. Can I move sufficiently to actually have a shot on the other one? No. No and no. Okay, so let's move to the front instead. Ian, do not move to the front. I can kill him. I suppose I can. And we're out of ammo. Here we go. One more hit. Perfect. Just one mutant left. And he has what is it? Is it a flamer? Bravo, Ian. And he's dead. Wait a minute. Yeah, you're behind a door. You can't really do anything to me. Right, let's see. Um, yeah, we lost Tycho. That's that's a bummer. Hmm. Okay, let's take what we need from him. We might need rope. We might need dynamite. And we're already at our maximum capacity. You know what? That's enough um, rockets for now. We need the capacity to carry Tycho's stuff. Here, Ian, you will take the rocket launcher for now. And all the rockets. Also, I should read guns and bullets. Yeah. You can also take the radio. I will read guns and bullets now. Because why not? We have been losing people left and right. We lost Dogmeat, then we lost Tycho. Only Ian and ourselves remain. Yeah, use some stim packs. Heal up a little bit. Ian, are you fine? Ian is fine. Well, at least he is. He's the only one we have left. Okay, let's take the ammunition. Because it is... Kinda useful. So take one motion tracker. I suppose I can leave all the other stuff. I'd like to take the plasma rifle and the stealth boy and all of this ammunition. Okay, what's that? Hold discs. Oh, of course, I just gave them to him. Some lockpicks and some more hold discs. And I don't want minigun ammunition. I can take some dynamite. Okay, we are at maximum capacity already. Come, Ian, I have some stuff for you to carry. This inventory management is a little bit annoying. Maybe you should just leave this stuff. Okay, we don't need that many microfusion cells on our person. Mm, yeah, we're switching to energy weapons for now. They seem to be the most effective. I mean, the rocket launcher is fun, but it's effectively six action points per shot. So, moderately useful. 
Right, what else do we want from Tycho? Decent burial, probably. Now, although that would be for, not from. Right, that's a BB gun. I suppose I could take a laser rifle, but I don't really want to. I will take dynamite and I will take those rockets. And the sniper rifle. Just in case we want to use it someday. Okay, that'll be it. Ian, more stuff for you. And that's the last. That's the last bit, I think. Oh, first let's see how much inventory space we have left. About 50 pounds. Could look for some interesting things on their corpses, maybe some ammunition. Yeah, that's minigun ammunition. Okay, cells, perfect. And a plasma rifle. Pretty dangerous weapon, I'm not taking it, I have one already. Oh, a gutling laser. A ton of fun, if you ask me. Okay, let's dump some stuff on Ian. Because we want the gutling laser. So, you can take this and that and this and that. And all the rest. Fine, offer. Right, so, Gatling laser it is. I wonder how good that is, basically. Hmm. Okay, let's use such a setup. Close quarters. This moderate range will try out the Gatling laser. Maybe we'll try it out on them. What weapons are you using? Flamethrower? Minigun? Oh no, Gatling laser. Yeah, and plasma rifle. This is deadly. I think I have to use the alien blaster just for the quick killing power. Is this... I open this and immediately start combat. Oh, it's locked. Alright. Hmm. What is the lockpick set? That does nothing, really. Well, of course, it's an electronic door. We should be using the electronic lockpick we got from the Circle of Thieves. Will that work, actually? You are not able to pick the lock, so no longer that does nothing. That actually does something. Okay, try that again. And again. And a couple more times. I don't really have the skill points to add to lockpick at that point. Oh! Robo Brain was hit for 10 hit points. How? Why? Oh, it walked through a force field, I suppose. Not able to pick the lock. Oh, damn it. What if I use just the lockpick skill? That's skill number 2. The lock is beyond your ability, but if we use this, it is not beyond our ability. So, there is a small chance that we will succeed if we keep trying, apparently. Hmm. And this room is full of supplies, so we don't really need supplies, but... Who would pass on that? No one... Oh, it worked! Alright. Let's get ready for combat. I suppose I could use buff out. It increases endurance, right? Let's use buff out and try to not get addicted. Yes, endurance has increased. But uh, hit points have not. Hmm, weird. I thought they would increase too. Oh well. I could use jet. So, close quarters. I'm thinking alien blaster. Open the door. Immediately start combat. No. No combat. When the door opens, immediately start combat. Perfect. I cannot hit them from where I stand. But I can move freely. Yeah, let's kill the guy with the Gatling laser. Oh, we're not dealing a ton of damage to him, are we? What if I use that? That's four action points. We won't be able to move afterwards. Right, I do not want to be in his line of fire. I will hit him once more and then move away here. Hold on, Ian. Please don't die. 
He uses Stimpak. Good. Let's move here. He's dead. And he's about to die. One more hit. Perfect. We're relatively safe, but I will hide. Oh no. Oh, bloody hell, Ian. So stupid. And we lost all our party members. I am very sorry about it. I truly am. Okay then. We have lost everyone. We are alone in the world. But we can still do it. Let's just take what we need and go on. I'm... <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna reload the game. That would be improper, but... That is actually pretty sad. Okay, we do need a lot of those. We can't carry that many. I suppose I can... Oh, there's no space left, of course. I do not need the Geiger counter. What else do we not need? We don't need... Well, we do need the plasma rifle. Right. So, what do we want from Ian? Any unique stuff we want from him? I suppose I can do without a rocket launcher. It's not the best weapon anyway. I would like to take more. I'll even leave the Elvis painting. I think I have to carry one war uh, one rope at all times, just in case. I could take the holodisks, but we have downloaded them already. Is the pistol can stay? I want this this pistol because I think it's unique, and I want as many of those as I can carry. And I think that'll be it. All that Ian can give us. Okay, I suppose I can leave a lighter. Oh, no space left. We're almost at capacity. Well, you know we will find some more. Yeah, I'm taking the Gatling laser. And we have entered a room that is actually storage. But we have no capacity to carry all this stuff. Yeah, that is a gold mine. Two rippers. A ton of grenades and such. Well, I am... Oh, and a ton of those. We need them for our alien blaster. I'll leave a bit of that and take some of that. They are lighter, so we can take more. Hmm. Yeah, we already have a ton. If I left the... I can leave the lighter. If I left the rope, that would help a lot. But you never know with ropes. It's really good to have one. All right, that is sufficient for our needs. Let's see the other lockers. Four lasers, laser pistols and a plasma, plasma rifle. And some rockets. Flamers, yeah, quite a ton of supplies. Maybe we will have something, get something that doesn't weigh anything. A minigun. Two more, mm, two more lockers to go. Yeah, some ammo for that minigun and and more ammo for that minigun. Well, there's no point looting them at that point. Uh, at that moment, we have everything we want to have. Although there are a few more lockers here, so we should probably go and see them. Cannot get the... What's going on? Oh, there's a mutant here. No one gone in the room. You see a mutant with a phenomenally small cranium. Uh, yeah, you just killed two of my friends. There you go. Now we can go in the room. Oh, some drugs, good. We'll need that. We will need that after what happened. 
And the super stim packs. Oh. Super stim packs actually weigh stuff. I suppose I can leave the antidote and take a super stim pack. Yes, I can. Well, we don't really need super stim packs if we are opening the inventory because we can use as many regular stim packs as we want to. So we did lose everybody. Yeah, give me right away. Also booze. No, we can carry it, of course. Right, time to leave. Time to go to level 3 and kill everybody. There's one more locker on the wall. We should probably check that out. Maybe there's some more stim packs or something. Show me that. Yes, there is, actually. There's some more stim packs. Oh, that reminds me, right away reminds me, we're not radiated, but we should probably take Rad X. Let's take Rad X. Yeah, that's fine. We are at 100% radiation resistance. Time to go and ki kick some butt. Right, so in this episode we have lost two of our friends. We are alone in the world, we have lost Tycho, we have lost Ian and most importantly we have lost Dogmeat. In the next episode we take revenge. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.